Texas wine and grape industry is expanding very rapidly and as a result of that there has been a great an increase in need for uh, more grapes to be able to take, take uh, make Texas wines. And as a result of that, we're seeing a lot of new vineyards go in, and as that happens, they are encountering a disease called cotton root rot. It's caused by a fungus, Phymatotrichopsis omnivora. This is a very notorious pathogen. It has been a problem in cotton for over a hundred years in Texas. In the past few years, Dr. Tom Isaacy with the Department of Plant Pathology developed a control for cotton root rot in cotton. Given that kind of a breakthrough, we, we decided in my laboratory, my graduate student and I, Sheila McBride, decided to um, take the same chemical that's being used on cotton and see if it would work on grapes. We had three different vineyard locations, trial, field trials, and we set those up in three different areas, knowing that the pathogen was there. Phymatotrichopsis, cotton root rot, has its species name is omnivora, meaning it's pretty omnivorous. And you don't start seeing the symptoms of cotton root rot until the summer, late summer. It'll infect the vines and the vine won't even look like it has a problem at all. It's a pathogen that is not always gradual. It's like a sudden wilting chlorotic leaves that the leaves turn brown. They stay attached to the vine and in a matter of no time it's dead. We put in an application with the Texas Department of Agriculture for what's called a 24C local needs registration. And it allows, under restricted conditions, the use of flutriophile, which is the name of the fungicide. We're, uh, we're allowed to use flutriophile to control the disease in, in, the, uh, in the vineyards. So this five years of research has, has been very fulfilling and rewarding to me that we were able to actually help the grape growers. With our testing and the results we've gotten, it's just going to make it that much easier for them to get relief in these other crops in Texas as well.